Hello YouTube! Time for a video again. Well, today's video is a carry-on from the video I did about three days ago. The one I did three days ago was when I had to move the female Umbi up to, to the uh, male Umbi, the 20-inch male Crazy Joe. Well, uh, yeah, so today I've got to move the Trimac out uh, Churchill. Oh, yes! Churchill, and I've got to move me up at my small pair of Dovoi, the red the red and blue morph. Anyway, uh, I'll have a quick, before we get going, I'll have a quick show you how crazy Joe with a divider, and then we'll uh, get on with all the moves, get all the aquascaping done and get on with the move. So uh, let's get on it! So here we go, before we get going, uh, just a quick little look at uh, Crazy Joe, like, I haven't took the divider down yet, to, yeah, he doesn't seem to be wor worried too much about the female, and what the, the good thing is, the female has uh, just, just found out how to hide in that tube. Yeah, so when I take the divider down, I'll be videoing it and uh, keep you all updated, but she's, she's in that tube now. Which is really, really good, because that's what I wanted her to do. I wanted to... Can you, no, she's just got a peep ahead. I can see her nose. There's a nose peeping out. I can see a reflection in the other side. So she, she's learned how to use this tube, which is exactly what I wanted. So when I re finally get around to removing the divider, she can uh, take refuge. But she's already been digging the uh, substrate against the divider. Anyway, I'm going on too much. Uh, we we, uh, we better get on with, with the plan for today. Right, today's plan is to move this uh, male Costa Rican Dovi along with this uh, red moor female, get them moved up with all the day, all the, uh, the uh, decor, all, all this uh, scaping wood and rocks and stuff. That's all got to go up, up with them. So, uh, yeah, today's plan is to get these moved, which will free up this tank. I like them on top top shelf in the fish room because it's a lot warmer and they do interact. They do get a lot braver on top shelf. On the these are on the floor in the fish room, and the fish do become shy. Yeah, so who's when when I move them up here? This one at one eighty. What's all been? Uh, cleaned out ready when they go up here who's going to have this tank i'll show you who's going to have this tank yeah you know, i'll just go and show you who's having this tank my my regulars will already know who's going in it yeah she's coming on nicely she's about 50 they don't show up very well on the video she's about 50 50 white white uh, to orange and she's got some lovely orange lips Hopefully she'll video better when she gets up top. They'll be a very shy for the first week or two. Anyway, I'll show. Let's show you who's going in here. Yes, yeah, so the, the tank on the bottom shelf in the fish, fish room. But oh, Churchill's going in in there. I don't really want to put him in the fish room to be honest. If he had the choice, I'd leave him hit, leave him up here in the house. But I'm doing it for his own benefit because at the moment he's only in a. A four foot tank, and he's going to get way, way, way too big for a four foot tank. So we'll take him in the in in the fish room, and he can have an upgrade to a six foot tank. Which I think he'll appreciate that, won't you, Churchill, mate? Oh yes, yes. So uh, and then that's going to leave me an empty four foot, and oh, I've got plans. I'll show you the uh, the four foot. Yeah, so I've got I've got big plans for this four foot. I'll take you to, just to see the fish what I plan of putting in the four foot. Right, the four foot's going to be used as a grow out tank for this little uh, red red morphed over. It's only like about three inches, so I know it's not going to last too long. But it, it should, for three inch fish, a four foot tank, 
that's going to do, do him fine. I might even put, I've got a Texas, a Carpenter's, what uh, I may put with him. Because he'll hide in this pot. I'll probably put this pot in the other tank. Anyway, I better not get waffling on. I better just get on the job in hand. First job. First job is to uh, get all this get get all this bog wood and rocks out. Yeah, it's looking nice. These are. Huh? Yeah. So first job to get the, get all this bog wood and rocks out and get the top tank scaped. So I better crack on. I better get on it. Yeah, so there we have it. We've got it all out. That didn't take long. I said that last time, didn't I? That didn't take long when you get stuck in. We've got loads and loads and loads of bits of bog wood. Quite a few chunks of rock and a few pots and that. I think I might not quite put quite so much in because the fish are growing. So so we've got, the, we've got Morris out over there in the corner. Two dovine. There is a pair of convicts in here. I might just leave the convicts. Anyway, now... Now, there's, there's Morris, the mind ass. Yeah, you're going to get an upgrade, Morris. Nice mind ass, that one. Anyway, yeah, so I've got to get it all up in, all up in here. So let's get on it. Right, I've got all that in. I just had a quick look back at that last time lapse, lapse uh, bit, but it was all out of focus. But I can't, uh, I can't turn the clock back and redo it. So uh, you'll have to put up with that bit. So here we are. I, I haven't used all the materials, but m most of it, maybe too much really. So we've got a nice pot there. The, the dough vines will be able to squeeze in that pot. The mordas won't be able to fit in. Little uh, pipe there. A couple of caves. And a, and a pile of bog wood. And what I tend to do is like pile things on top of the sponge filters. The only reason I uh, pile things on top of the sponge filters is because the uh, mide ass, he does get gets them and rags, rags them all over the tank. So hopefully that will uh, keep them in place. Yeah, so now it's uh, time to catch these fish and get them in the new, new tank. I'm not going to bother with the aquamation. This tank, what they're in, is a 23.3C. 20, and this one has gone up. It's got, I did a big water, I did 75% water change on it yesterday. And it's gone up to 22.9. So it's only a little tiny bit of difference. I mean, the bottom tank's probably got more nitrates in it because this one had a 75% 75, 75 water change, so this, the, the nitrate levels will be different, but I don't think that'll hurt them. Anyway, uh, let me get these fish caught. I'll hand the phone over to the missus and she'll video me. Right, here we go. Let's, uh, let's uh, probably get Morris first. Oh, there we go. Come on, Morris. Let's get him in here. Get him in there he goes in the net. This is going to make a big splash, but they've got to get him out. Oh, there we go. I'm soaked as, as per normal. Whoops. You see? Oh, he's beautiful. He's, he's, a, he's a good 12 incher. He's a good 12 incher. Well, let's get, pop him in the top here. Oh, bloody hell, he's stuck in the net. Go on, Morris. There he goes. He's got a, he'll take a, he, that fish takes a, a fortnight to settle in, sometimes longer. Right, let's go back down here. Right, let's see. I'll just catch anything that comes first. 
Oh, they're going to go behind the filters. Oh, got it. Got the female dove. I'll we'll have a good look at this one because I've not had seen it myself. She's really pretty. Yeah. There she goes. She's about 50. She's got uh, red lips. She's got a red, orange, or, well, I say red, orange lips. She's got an orange patch on the head. And all the way down the bottom's orange. So she's probably more, she's probably 50 50. Getting a decent size, I don't know, seven, seven inches. So we'll plop her in the top here. There she goes, look. She looks like a clownfish. Nemo. Well, Morris has seen her. Right, we'll get a boyfriend caught. I bet he's, he's hiding. I bet he's hiding behind them sponges. Yeah, so my next, is. yeah, my next job will be to, once I've got these, is to do the same as what I did with the top tank. I'm going to have to give it. A, uh, I'm going to give this about a 75 percent water change. Where has he gone? Down that end. And clean, clean all the sponges out, and then I'll put the trimac in here. I'll uh, put the trimac in here tomorrow. So I'll. Uh, got him. Yeah, I'll put the trimac in here tomorrow. Well, when the temp when the water temperatures reached got back up to an operating temperature. Because if we do a 75% water change, the water temperature will get really, really slow. There he is, lot. Nice male Costa Rican Umbi, son of uh Wolfie. There he goes, hiding. I'll sh I'll give him five minutes and I'll uh, we'll have a look when they come out. Right, I finished uh, cleaning out Churchill's new tank and s trying to put some scape in it and uh, you know like doing the big water change and that like bits of bog wood now the scape is not not to my liking really I like uh, like a uh, river river cobbles and uh, probably like a few plastic plants to make it try to make it look uh, fairly natural but you got to make make do with what you got haven't you this, this, if you do all the aquascaping properly, it can get quite expensive, I tell you. This is all, uh, all these bits of water, just what I've found in my little stash, what I've uh, accumulated over the years. Anyway, like I said, I've done a massive water change. I bet it's about 80%. Let's I'll show you the, the temperature. Is that in focus? 15.8. Yeah, so I'm going to leave this stood overnight. And then we'll get uh, Churchill in here. But uh, you probably notice, sometimes I keep calling him Big Mac by mistake. Well, Big Mac, my followers know, Big Mac was his granddad. But his name's Churchill. Anyway, we don't want to be looking at an empty tank. Yeah, these are not, they're not settled properly. Well, they've only been in, they've only been in about three hours. That's that female dove eye. She looks better out of the water because her colour's better. There's old Mor Morris is behind there. What are you doing behind there, Morris? Anyway, well, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll carry on with this job tomorrow when that tank has reached temperature and I'll, I'll tag it on the end of this video and we'll carry on. Hopefully these will settle and I'll get a little bit more footage of these. Right, it's the next morning now. I made a big mistake yesterday. I forgot. I forgot. To, I left two convicts in here. So the water went down to, what did I say it was? 15.8. 15.8. And these convicts are still, still, uh, still alive. But it's back up to temperature now. It's quite hot. A bit higher than what I normally have it. It's 20, 27... Yeah, 27, I normally have it at about 24. I've got a heater, just to get it all quick, I've got a heater in here. I don't normally use heaters, but I've got a heater in there behind that bog wood. So it got back up to temperature. So basically, these convicts have been, uh, was in water temperature at 15 to 15, and they've survived. Well, I don't think they'll survive if it went on for days and days and days and days, but overnight they'll survive. Anyway, I'm dragging this on too long. I've got to go and get the uh, Trimac caught and get him in the tank. Right, here we go. It's time to get Churchill out, catch him and put him in a bucket. I'll, get, I'll, I'll hand the phone over to the missus and let her film me catching him. 
Right, here we go. Come on, uh, Churchill. Oh, that's easy, wasn't it? A bit of splashing all over the wall. He's a big... Hey, I reckon he's like... I bet it's a good 10 inch, yeah? Here we go, in the bucket. Which bucket? Let's get the female. Female, where's your female? Oh, I should have took this piece of wood out. She'll go through that divider. Oh, no, she isn't doing. Come on. There she goes, that's better. Don't go through that divider again. There we go. There she goes, the female. In the bucket. Right, I'll get these outside. I'll get these outside to the shape. Right, here we go. Let's get him out. Oh, Churchill. Come on, Churchill. There he goes, look. He's a two-hander. He's gone a bit black and stressed, but let's get him in the top here. There he goes. Yeah, he's going he's to take a while to settle in. Let me get the female out. There you go. She, she's not a two-hander. Quick, let's get her in before she starts flapping. Look at all that room they got. I hope she finds, hope she finds a nice hiding places. Anyway, I'll give them a few minutes to settle in, and I'll uh, the convict's coming out for a look. Give them a few minutes to settle in. I'll film them again. Yeah, right. I hope I've provided enough hiding places for this female, because uh, in the other tank they they had a hole in the divider. But I think I think she's got enough. But I'll keep a close. I'll monitor them closely. And if we have to revert back to the hole in the divider, so be it. But uh, like I say, they're going to take time to settle in, so uh, I better not waste time. The, the, the video's dragging on too long already, so I better not waste too much time on these. I will, uh, I'm going to go in the house, back up in the house there and prep, prep their, ta their old tank for the two inch, two to three inch red morphed over eye. I'll just get it all, give it a good old vacuum and get it all prepped. So I better get on with that one now. Let's get on it. Right, that's got all the tank uh, cleaned and prepped. I'm quite happy with the way this this looks. Like, uh, I like I like the cobble the cobble rocks. As I said earlier, I like the cobble rocks and the driftwood. The one thing I don't and, and the plastic plants. The one thing I don't like, I've I've got a like a clay pipe, terracotta or clay pipe in there, but I've tried to hide it. I put it in there because of future plans. I've got another fish I'd might like to add to this tank, but I'm not going to add it straight away. Anyway, let me go up there and catch the little uh, red morph dove eye. I'm going to put it in a bag so I can have a closer look at it. Then I'll float the bag in the tank. Right, I've caught him. I've caught, got him in the bag. I put him in this bag for two reasons. Oh, he's having a poop. I put him in here for two reasons. One, so I can have a close look at him. And two, you know, it's a, it's a good way of uh, acclimating, get the, the water temperatures the same. But, you know, like I said before, a lot of the dove, uh, red morph dove eyes, what I've had, have t turned out pure white. But as you can see, this one's, to me, this one's got potential. It's already, like, orangey-yellow, and uh, I, like, I like his eyes. He's got black, black and yellow eyes. I, I don't like the ones of the albino eyes, but that's just my preference. Other people will totally disagree. Yeah, I'm not so keen on the albinos, because sometimes the albinos, well, white mine, went blind. And Pope Mel's got a, a white albino on what's gone blind. Anyway, I'll leave him, I'll, I'll leave him 20 minutes, and then we'll let him go. But you can see he's orange. So I've got, I've got big hopes for him. There he goes. I've got it on the tripod, so I hope I capture this. I've got to uh, re release him from the bag. Yeah, but I bet I can't see what, what's happening on that video, so I'll just hope 
I've caught it on on the uh, video. Quick, get this blooming bag open. I oh, made a good job of that. Too good. Here we go. Go on, little fella. Oh, that's a bit of laggy band. Quick, get that out. Yeah, I think I'm going to name him Fanta because he's orange. There you go, little Fanta. Well, there he is. He's in the new tank light, but it's going to take a long time to settle, get his bearings, or I keep calling the he. It's probably a she. Anyway, I think I think this video's dragging on miles too long, so I'm going to have to like a. Uh, we're going to have to wrap this one up. Yeah, it's time to wrap this one up now. I hope I haven't gone on too too long. And uh, if you've come this far, like I, I say, like I always say, if you've come this far. You're a superhero. Anyway, if you want to have updates on our little, uh, how the little red dove are coming on, and our uh, our Churchill's coming on, you'll have to uh, hit the subscribe button and tune in again until next time. Anyway, uh, thank you for watching. Thank you to all my subscribers. Until next time, happy fish keeping, especially. To all my superheroes. Ta-ra!